Hey guys, Kev here, and I have some unboxings to do for you. Um, I have the Devo Knives Lush prototype here from uh, Concept, which is cool. Uh, we are working on a um, little bit of an issue we had with these. The uh, blades are hitting the uh, barrel down there. And that's why I had that one with the chip, and they all have it now. <laughs> so, um, if you kind of, even if you just close it, but if you do that, and you can hear it's tapping up against that. So, uh, we'll figure it out. We'll either sharpen it out, and then they'll, you know, they'll just make sure, obviously, in production, we don't have the issue. Or, you know, we might have to send them back or get new ones made. We'll figure it out. But that is the joy of prototyping. Uh, obviously, we'll get it all sorted before uh, any production knives get shipped. Don't do that, Kev. All right. First up is something uh, I don't know what it is. So, start with that. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Feels like two pouches. Folding knife. Okay. Two folding knives, apparently. Let's see what's in here. Assuming these are for me. Best Tech Knives. Okay. We got two Best Tech Knives. We got a little guy. Okay. Wait, didn't I just have one of these? Yeah, this is the little Ostop Hell design. Uh, this was... Um, this was in the box from Best Tech that I uh, unboxed recently. So this is the little uh, Hawkbill Karambit thing. I just don't know what, you know, just don't know what to do. Uh, how to, what am I trying to say? I just don't know how to hold it properly. Like, what makes sense? Is this the grip? Like, is this the grip it's meant for? It just seems like it's meant for more tactical stuff like this. Well, I guess that feels okay. All right, all right. I'm being a little weird. I think maybe just smaller hands than me. Um, I do like the front flipper. It works really well. Just grab it and pop it. That's the best way for me. Trying to grip this thing and do the front flip, it feels like it's going to fall, um, out of my hand, you know? Uh, so, but you can reverse flick it. Well, lefty, I can do it. There you go. So, this is cool. Um, do I know the names? Uh, what's the name on this one? Ugh. The Beehive. Baha'i, Beehive, 14C, Gray, and Satin. What? Gray. Oh, Gray and Satin on the blade, I guess. And then Red G10. Okay. So, Best Tech sent these in for review. So, um, and then this one's the Slither. This is their new Axis Lock knife, I think. That. Nope, it's a liner lock. Never mind. I was thinking of the uh, Slasher. Um, and this one has a very uh, distinct blade shape. It's got that sort of um, spay sort of deal. It's like a reverse tanto, really. Um, you know, some people, wink, wink, Jared Neve, <laughs> would not call this a reverse tanto because it doesn't have two edges. But that's bullshit. It's clearly a reverse tanto because... It looks like a tanto when it's flipped this way. So I just call it a reverse tanto. And I'm just joking around, okay? Um, don't tattle on me, guys. You can flick it. Um, you just kind of get in there, get the meat into the... Getting the meat and the potatoes into that fuller and pop it. Oh, I thought that was a choil. No choil. So uh, it's a thick boy. Proud liners. Interesting backspacer. No reversible clip, which is weird, but it's actually, a, I like this clip quite a bit. Is it steel? Yes. Um, T8? T6. Detent's pretty good. Uh, would I like it a little stronger? Sure, because I can almost fail it, but it's not bad. Um, flicking it down here. Eh. You can flick it down there. It just doesn't feel like you're going to catch it, and then you do. You know, it's a little different than a fuller like this, where it's kind of like meant, you know, as I feel it. Kind of meant to be flicked like that. 
Um, I think I do want to make this a little bit, I want to make the fuller either taller or sharper or something. So it's a little easier to get in there. Um, if you have any like oil, I have oil on my hands from this. So it's kind of slipping out of there. Um, but once I carry it for two seconds, I can pretty much nail it every time. Um, but apparently right now I cannot. So, uh, yeah, you have a smooth blade with oil on it. It's a little harder to get in there. So I find it easy to get right in here where this lock access is and then just flick it out like that. Uh, get a good grip, big knife, you know, large knife, especially compared to this guy. There you go. Size comparison. Here's an F5.5. Right there. All right. Hopefully that helps you understand. This guy is closing in on three and, you know, three quarters. And the other guy is uh, very small. So, all right. We got two Best Tech knives. What else we got? Oh, this one's cool. This is uh, a, I hope this is it, a uh, Sharpie. So not just a Sharpie. This is the titanium bolt action Sharpie I've been waiting for. It's called the Marksmith, which is awesome. Um, okay, hang on. There's some stuff with it, so don't want to mix up anything here. So here we go, the Marksmith. We have a... Oh, you can actually put a pen in here? comes with parker refill so you can actually put this whole mechanism in there and you get a pen that's freaking cool look at that it's probably not something i would do because it's big but excuse me refill sample pack uh fits marksmith fine only so this is fine point you're gonna have permanent black blue red green and then you're gonna have a yellow highlighter that's cool i really just use black but um you know, cool to have different things. So let's see what this is. Make sure it doesn't have a name on it or anything. Um, I'd like to say thank you for buying the Marksmith. They actually sent me this. Uh, I'm waiting patiently for its arrival. I hope that you enjoy it. Please note, the clip bolt assembly has about one millimeter of free travel when the Marksmith is retracted. This is intentional because the cartridge must be loose to ensure that the cap is fully closed so the tip won't dry out. Ah, Replacing the cartridge, unscrew the tip from the body and remove the old cartridge. When installing a new cartridge, it must be inserted into the tip in a specific orientation such that it locks in place and will not rotate before the body is screwed on. Uh, there are good videos that show the process on our YouTube channel, Marksmith Playlist, and our website instructions tab on the Marksmith page. Extra permanent marker and highlighter cartridges are available on our website when you need a refill. Use the coupon MarkSmith underscore owner for 15% off future purchases from our website. And then here you go. There's a bunch of QR codes. So definitely scan those if you're interested. They have a YouTube, an Instagram, a TikTok, a Twitter, a Reddit, and a web store. Really cool stuff. And uh, it's from Daniel and the team at Soul Belt. Really cool people. I hit them up because I saw this and, uh, oh, and you get another refill here. So tons of refills. Um, I get at least two. Um, check this out though. They asked me if I wanted, uh, anything lasered on. Well, <laughs> dead nuts, baby. And they asked me, um, when they asked me, I said dead nuts and they were, and he came back and he's like, I'm glad I reread this because I thought you said D's nuts. <laughs> that would have been great. So this is a bolt action Sharpie, guys. So freaking cool in my opinion. Oh, look at that. You can't even see that seam, dude. Look, there's a seam there. That just disappears. I went with the matte black. Um... It comes in a just, I think, a raw tie or a polished tie, one or the other. A, sorry, polished or stonewash. And then it comes in this with either this matte finish or a, a polished, like a black polish. Look at that. It has a ton of travel. This is so unique. Um, this is the only uh, retractable Sharpie that I've seen. And I've been waiting for this, guys, for like a month. So... 
I hit them up about a month ago about it, and I've been waiting patiently. Every time I ship a package, when I have like three or four packages to ship, I always pack them up, and then I write on there who it's for or what it is so I know which label goes on what, right? And so every time the last month that I've done that, I've been like, I wish I had my Marksmith right now so I could be using that instead, right? Look at this thing. Oh, yeah. It's got the fine tip there. I mean, it's got good action, too. It's got a long travel, which is kind of satisfying. You can just do this. And I guess what they were saying was, oh, look at that shit. No way. It has a little gate. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it's freaking dope. All right. This thing's so exciting. All right. So I don't know if you can see in there, but it opens up a gate. See that? And that's how the uh, marker doesn't dry out. It pops in, and then there's a freaking gate, dude. How cool is that? Oh, uh, do we want to mess with, like, doing the refill and everything? Nah. I'm going to do a separate video dedicated to this because they were kind enough to send me this. I think they're, like, 100 bucks. You can get them on Amazon, which I will link down below. Um, I'll link their store, too. I don't know. Maybe they prefer you go directly there. If you use the Amazon link, I get a little credit, but... Um, and this is what I was talking about with the, uh, pen from, um, smooth precision where they said they got rid of the clicker top and they had to put the cap on and keep it the same length because otherwise there would be an opening. And this is what they meant by that. You see that opening here? Um, so the only way to keep it this, they would have had to make it long, longer to have a plunger in there. If that makes sense. So it would be like this much longer if it had uh, a plunger that filled this area. Uh, which totally makes sense that they didn't do that in this case. Because it's already a pretty big piece, right? Um, it does have rattle. And they explained that. It's because it has to. Um, I think in order for this um, gate to be in there. So just how it has to be. But I freaking love it. Dude, this is so cool. Thank you so much to Soul Built. Um, you guys are awesome. Really, really awesome. Dead nuts, baby. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. What else we got? I'm trying to rip through everything here, and then I'll do a dedicated video on whatever I need to. This is from Blade Capone. So I don't know what this is. I don't think I ordered anything from Blade Capone. I think he told me recently he had a uh, Blade Show Texas shirt coming out, but Oh, okay. This is an Eclipse hardware set. This is for Josh uh, Worth. It's for my buddy Josh Worth in Australia. So just a Hinder Eclipse. Whoops. Hinder Eclipse hardware set. Uh, that's okay. And that's why I got a P.O. box. Because I kept doing that. But the problem is... I uh, can't send everything to a P.O. box. I gotta give Josh my P.O. box. This one is from Liberty Express... What the hell is this thing? Oh, must be a book I ordered for my kids. How many books did I order? Jesus. How to Catch a Yeti. I hope this one's good because How to Catch a Monster is awesome. So I've bought like all the other ones. I have How to Catch the Tooth Fairy, Easter Bunny, Leprechaun, uh, Unicorn. Did I say Tooth Fairy already? Um... There's more dinosaur, and they all suck ass, except for how to catch a monster. So I'm sure this is just as bad. It's probably just this Yeti running around, trying to get caught, and they he's like, I escaped by doing this. And then you see his foot or whatever. Like the one how to catch a monster is cool because it's different. Um... He, like, hangs out with the, the monster and, like, I don't know. Anyway, never mind. You don't care. So, we got that. Uh, I think I got one left here, right? What's this one? Yeah, one left. Oh, this one's cool, too. This one's from um, Blade Ops. This is the, uh, I believe, this is going to be the Riot Exo M. So, let's put away the Lush.
We at XOM, baby. Ah, penis. Lots of penis. So, I do kind of want to buy one of these. I've heard that they are a smaller size. They have the lock. They have a clip. That makes a big difference. Um, it really does. So... We'll see if I like it, though. And I, I'm hoping they have, like, fat carbon ones. And if they do, then I'll probably get one of those instead of, you know, who knows what they sent me. They sent me... I knew they would send me green micarta because it's the last thing I would want. And then Stonewash Tanto, serial number 297, C 3V. Okay, um, that's weird. So it's a rustable steel. I don't really look, dig that. Let me just shut up and get into it first. Um, it rattles. I know you guys have seen this a lot already, so. Um, there's a pouch. Okay. Um, a patch, a pouch, silica, and a terrible microfiber. Which is fair. Everybody gives you terrible microfibers. Except for Devo knives and uh, Jack Wolf knives. Got to give Ben credit because he gave me the idea. All right. Here we go. Guys, I have an affiliate link to Blade Ops. So it's in the description along with the link to this. And if I can find those best techs, I'll link those as well. But um, Blade Ops is cool. And uh, they got a lot of stuff. So definitely check it out. This looks like natural my card. It's not as bad as I thought. I guess it's locked right now, and it's a, uh, it's a righty lock. Didn't think of that, did I? So, look, they made it easy. Unlock, lock. Kind of like that. So this is the knife where you drop it like it's hot, slide it out, and then you grab it like this. Ooh, that Tanto is sexy. Pop it up. Now it's locked again. Now, this is where everybody complained about the rattle. Right? Doesn't seem to be going in. And, um... It's only going to do that when you're not holding it. So if I hold it like this, it shouldn't, it doesn't rattle. It still has motion, but it's not as bad, right? Like it's barely there. This is nice. Um, why? It looks like a bead blast. Why would you bead blast um, 3V? That just seems silly. Oh, shit. That just seems silly, right? Okay, I didn't sharpen it. There we go. It was me. I love the Tanto. Now we're locked again. So. Right-handed. Easy, easy, easy manipulation. Left-handed. Not so bad. You know? And do I need the lock? Like, let's say I'm just cutting something. I can just do this, cut something, and put it back in. Why do I need the lock when I'm using it? Do I? I mean, I mean it's not going to close, right? It can't close unless I lift this, right? Because that's when these little wings go by. You know what I mean? So, like, without the lock, it doesn't even matter. Like, what is it locking, by the way, I wonder? It just pushes this tab up, which notches into... Oh, it notches in here. And that keeps it from, I guess it keeps the handle from, I don't know what it does exactly, but my brain's not smart enough for that. And then we got a clip. Titanium. Looks good. Would it work left-handed? So here's the deal. I think it would work pretty well left-handed. You could pop this in your pocket and it would be okay, you know? Um, would there be a chance that you could 
disengage it somehow, maybe. So I would probably carry this, uh, I would carry this in my back left pocket like a right-handed knife. So that way the blade is facing the side. It also cle uh, keeps the lock against my leg. Just, you know, all that kind of smart stuff in my opinion. Look at that. What is that brass thing down there? Is it a lanyard? No. There's something in it, so it's not a... What is that? Just the barrel, I guess? Interesting. Yeah, if they do a... Um, I'll, I'll look around after this video, but if they have like a... Uh, they have like a fat carbon version out, I'll probably pick that up. I don't know if they're coming out with that um, or if this is it. Because I don't know, out of the ones that exist, I probably would want burlap micarta, I think. Or maybe black micarta, although this actually looks fine to me. Um, so we'll see. But good knurling slash jimping feels good. It's not a double edge, which I believe it comes in a double edge, which I would not want. You could also get inlays probably for this made, which would be nice. So, yeah, this is a much more manageable size. And it's more fun. Plain and simple. I didn't love the first version. It just felt gimmicky and big. and It didn't have a clip. It just didn't have all the function this does. This is awesome. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, I'm into it now. I see why everybody else is into it. <laughs> Um, I don't know if they're still available at Blade Ops. If they are, you can use my link, but whatever. I might find them somewhere else and I'll link it. But uh, this is sweet. Yeah, I see what I see what the hype was about now. Now that I have one that fits my hand better. And the lock, I think, adds security. It, the clip adds an element. Uh, this is going to be a very popular knife. And they should definitely do Fat Carbon and send me one. <laughs> Just kidding. Riot does not send me stuff. All right. There we go, guys. That's it for this video. We have the Riot XOM from Blade Ops. The best tech. Was it the Slasher? No. Damn it. What was this one called? The Slither from Best Tech. Eh, not my favorite Best Tech. We have the... Um, the other one, the <laughs> Bee High. Um, this one's cool if you're into this style, you know what I mean? Um, o Stop Pell always does a good job. It's made very well. It, the G10 feels great. The action's good. It's centered. Uh, it's got the hallmarks of a good piece, just, you know, not necessarily my aesthetic. That's kind of how I feel about both of those. Then we have the absolutely fantastic Soul Built Mark Smith Sharpie. Bolt action and titanium. Dude, you don't know how excited I am about this. Would I love to get rid of that rattle? Yes, but what are you going to do? I don't think there's anything they can do. Um, but we got the Dead Nuts edition, which is sick. Um, and then just for shits and giggles, I'll uh, put the Lush out here. Super excited about these. Just need to get them dialed in a little bit. Here's a blue one if you want to check that out. Arctic Storm. Just, oh man, you can uh, pop it with the front flipper like that, or you can do a traditional front flip like that, or you can reach around it like that, or you can reverse flick it like that, or if you get good enough at it, you can thumb flick it like that, and then you got the ergos, oh man, so good. So yeah, it's rock solid too. Once we get these dialed in, gonna be super stoked to do this run we'll figure out how we do it but uh, let me know what you guys think down below of everything i will do dedicated videos for the ones that uh, i am excited about and want to talk about and uh, i love you guys i hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and i will catch you later